but hello all welcome back to my channel it's your girl amaya um so today let's just talk a little bit y'all like don't worry i have on them uh, i guess i'll just give y'all a life update but yes um i feel like i've been feeling down lately so i'm trying to just like it's a four-day weekend and i already did nothing thursday and i already did well i kind of ran errands friday got a little wax and i got my <laughs> let me show y'all wait i got on a dress so i can't really can you see it okay you can't see it okay hold on i would just like everyone to know that i have officially been released from the shackles the shackles y'all of white and french tip nail polish do you see this yes everything but anyways yes so that's that's one update um finally because y'all can't tell me that that white got a grip on y'all you can't get no other color something's not right about that you have to admit something's not quite right why you literally cannot get any other color on your toes but white think about it anyways come join my side it feels it's freeing it's freeing it is first of all this dress I've had this dress for multiple years and never wore it. And when I tell y'all, I've been sleep very much so. Like, holding everything right. Can you see the back? This is the back. If you can see it. Don't look in my room. Mind your business. And yeah, it's just regular plain. But yeah, so basically what's been going on here, my life in Guam is um i just be lonely like i can't seem to like establish a friend group for real i don't even need a friend group but i just mean like establish like go to friends like okay i'm trying to like tiptoe around my words just because i don't want to offend nobody that i actually do mess with like i feel like if i mess with you for real you know my situation you know our relationship so don't be don't be in your feelings no for real okay so no um i just feel like i haven't been able to get like a real solid like friend group or a couple friends that i can just you know i'm just used to what i have back at home like my friends from at home i've been friends with them from freshman year to like sophomore year at the latest and we just stay friends like we never had no issues we never argued for real and it's just just what it's been um and then this whole like military thing got you moving all over the place and you just i don't know it's it's really different it's hard it's just like you have to be like on the go like you have to put yourself out there and you just have to just be quick to adapt and I was not quick to adapt. I wasn't getting it. It took me nine months and I'm here for, I'm already here for only two years. And if it take you damn near a year to get acclimated to an area, it's just like, what, what are we doing here? And so now I'm sitting here with a year left at Guam and I just need to figure out a way to make it through this year. Um, and, you know, I just have to ask myself, like, how do I want to live out? Because, like, after a year, I'm like, dang, okay, I'm ready to make a new start. I'm ready to PCS. I'm ready to go somewhere else and just have a brand new fresh start. I learned a couple things when I got here, and I want to try again. But then I had to keep thinking. I'm like, oh, I'm about to leave. I'm about to leave. I realized that that's what I was thinking in my head because that's what I was like. I was kind of was anticipating my PCS out of Guam. And I was like, wait. It's only been a year. You literally have 365 more days here. And I just caught myself. I didn't want to be in that mindset of being so far set in the future that I'm making the entire present miserable and the present being a whole year. It doesn't make sense for me to wishing I was, you know, somewhere else for an entire year. Why don't you figure out how you can make yourself happy in the situation that you're in right now until it's time to make a new transition and to get what you actually want. And I just feel like I need to make new friends for real. That's number one. But it's so hard. Like, it's just so hard. Like, how do you make friends? Like, nobody ever taught you that. Like, no, there's not a class in school. It's like how to, how to make friends. Like, that's weird. 
and then on top of that i just had to think about like what do i want like since i figured out like you need to figure out how to how you want to live this next year basically um and i want to explore like i feel like i'm passionate about exploring doing things and experiences i'm passionate about experience and i am kind of like wasting my time here the time that i'm giving here um i'll just be in my room a lot not really doing anything trying new things like you know you can't really grow like that so i feel like i'm stunting my own growth and i'm robbing myself of my own blessings and experiences so i was trying to like get into more things do more things um but i just i've yet to do it i don't know and a lot of times i'm stuck because i want to well first of all i didn't have a car for a minute <laughs> that's another story but i just got a car i went half on a car with my friend and we're sharing it right now um because we have opposite schedules so it works out but um yeah i didn't have a car for a little bit for like a couple months but so that hurdle was out the way now i have a car but now it's just like i want to do stuff but then like i can't find no, i can't find nobody to do it with like the stuff i want to do nobody else wants to do like i want to wake up early well i want to do hiking and it's too hot to be going in the middle of the day hiking here so you got to get up early don't nobody want to get up early to go hiking um or I want to do like canoeing and like I did paddleboarding before, but I want to do paddleboarding. I want to go snorkeling. I want to, um, what's it called? I want to do something else. It was something else I wanted to do. I can't remember, but I want to, you know, just do stuff that you would do. <laughs> oh, camping. I want to go like camping on a the beach. They have, we have so many resources. We have so many resources and I'm just, nobody's using them. Nobody's using them. And it's, it's frustrating because I've never had an issue like just doing things by myself. But certain stuff like, you know, like, can I just have one other person go with me? I want to do like this picnic thing. They have like this, this place here that does like, they set up picnic stuff. I'll put some pictures on here. It's super cute, but too expensive so i wanted to do my own thing for cheaper basically or they have like rentals i was gonna see that but i'm also cheap <laughs> i'm cheap but like yeah i'm just cheap i ain't broke don't get it twisted but i'm not cheap or i am cheap and i don't wanna i don't know like i just want somebody to do it with like anyways yeah so basically i'm tired of waiting on people yes you i'm tired of waiting on people and i'm tired of waiting for everybody else to be ready and i'm tired of waiting for everybody else to feel like it and i'm tired of waiting for somebody else to plan something no so i guess i just gotta do stuff by myself part my fucking 500 um that's nothing new but yeah so that's where i am right now Oh yeah, I've been doing school, y'all too. I'm in school, educated sis. Hey y'all, so I look different right now because I recorded that about like a month and a half ago. And originally I combined that video with a vlog that same day, but I'm gonna stop this video right here and I have a different vision in mind. So this video is just gonna be the chit chat life update part. And I'm gonna post the vlog later in a separate video. But yes, that is all I have to say. It's crazy because like, so much has already like changed since then. But that's okay. Um, I just want to close out this video and tell you guys thank you for watching. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.